you've got a number of different cells in your body, usually different types of white blood cells that help fight off infections. And if anything gets into your bloodstream, there's a whole system of events that happen so that those cells can work to fight against whatever germ has gotten into the system. One of the most interesting cells in the process is something called a macrophage, and that translates from the Greek and literally means big eater. And the macrophage is kind of like the vacuum cleaner in your immune system. It goes through the bloodstream cleaning up dead cells or any infectious organism that's gotten inside the body. And then the macrophage carries whatever that infectious organism is right to something that we call a T cell. That's how a healthy immune system works. But what happens with HIV is it gets eaten by the macrophage just like anything else would be. But the very cell that HIV wants to infect is where the macrophage goes. This is a human T cell. HIV attaches to the T cell at two receptor sites. The virus must attach at this both sites in order to enter the cell. It's like a key and lock type mechanism. The virus then contains a single strand RNA and hosts of enzymes. Every enzyme that the virus needs is attached to it. So this is a self-sufficient type of virus. And the enzymes are used as proteins or fuel to fuel a pro the replication process for HIV. It incorporates its RNA into the host cell's DNA found in the nucleus. Once inside, this cell is now transformed from a white blood cell factory to an a HIV factory.